Well, actually, you know what's funny? I had the Tatsunoku versus Capcom fight stick. I actually used that to play Smash sometimes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but you can't do any tilts. You can either only walk or run because of, like, the thing it... I don't know, I'm not going to get all into it, but you can yeah. either only walk or run in there. It's analog, yeah. yeah. So game one, we're actually going to see a little more of Zerge. No, not Zerge. We're actually going to see Dragon Zord and J-Dog. Um, I haven't heard of either of these. So yeah, I'm actually I, very I excited. I haven't either, so yeah. Uh, we're getting more Mega Man. I can't complain about that. Oh, but the Lemons are coming out here. Really like just the uh, the bounce, bounce, bounce. He's got a good rhythm going. Yeah, man. Getting very citrusy. So I would have to take a guess that uh, Dragon Zord, who is playing the green Mega Man, this is my guess, uh, that Dragon Zord is probably the green Power Ranger. Oh. And the player cam. The reads. Uh, and also that J Dog has a J over his uh, his pin. Mm. You're quite a conservative one. I I yeah okay you're you're right <laughs> you're right I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm messing with you, man. I just wanted to point out that Dragon Zord is a green Power Ranger. That's yeah. where I was trying to go with that. Yeah, I, I left my cool cosplay at home. I, I came as a came as a commentator. You know what? That's the best costume of all. There you go, man. Now, one of these two guys is going to cosplay as a winner um, after this set is over, but the name of the game is who's going to want it more. Um, as it looks right now, Dragon Zord just really has some tools to keep Pit out. Now, one thing that Pit's really, really good at is getting in and staying in. Kind of similar to Mario. That's a really good grab game, and his low percent combos <clears throat> can really, really work against Mega Man. You get like a down throw forward air, down throw up smash, down. Like uh, his throw game is really good, as you see right there. That's right there, yeah. But unfortunately, one thing that he struggles with is killing. Yeah. And if he can't find a kill, <laughs> Anything more than his size special, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. And yeah, the thing about Pit is that he actually has, like, pretty decent smash attacks, just none of them kill. Yeah. I mean, his down smash is frame five. That's messed up. But it doesn't kill until, like, 160. And it's messed up. And versus a guy like Mega Man who eats his Wheaties, it's just not going to be a walk in a park for Yeah. So yeah, Dragon Sword has definitely been controlling the space a lot, making it difficult for J-Dog to get in. But, you know, we were talking about how Pit has difficulty, you know, getting those kills. Dragon Sword is also having those problems. Yeah, he is. Okay, no ledge trump there, but these guys are nearing kill percent. Dragon Sword going to be the first one to take it with that back air and uh, almost took him off the top while he was invincible, which would have made me very angry. Oh, man, not angry. <laughs> Okay. Perhaps just disappointed. Disgruntled, maybe. Yeah. Upset. That's okay. a very vague word. Yeah. Okay. We're looking to get that up smash going there. Oh, okay. Looks like you wanted to land on that platform. Good stuff there, knowing that your character wouldn't be able to get that follow-up that he uh, would have got maybe like 80% ago. j is having a lot of problems getting through this swarm of projectiles, and I'm surprised that he hasn't tried at least once. Okay, what? never mind. As I was going to say, try to pull out the Orbitars, and as I say... I actually sent the downwards. My first time ever seeing that. A little late there on the dare that time, but I do like the attempt. Oh, whatever with the grab. Once again, stuck in the corner. Already in rage. Whereas he's still trying to get this first stock off of Dragon Sword, who's... I mean, again, you said it. Mega Man, I mean, he eats his Wheaties. He's chunky. Yeah, he's And a he big is hard guy. to kill. He is a big kid. Down throw. Uh oh, empty hops. He's probably spacing out so he can try to land a back here. There it is. <laughs> oh! Okay, so I like the idea there was to do the one two jab and get him to roll back. But instead, Dragon Sword did not oblige to that and instead panic held shield. Uh oh. Yeah, J Dog is uh, getting a little impatient just. Straight up approaching with raw side beats. Yeah, you know, at this point, this is where Mega Man, or excuse me, Mega Man, where Pits and Dark Pits start to face. Probably most notably Pits, because Dark Pit has a little bit of a slightly easier time killing. Than, better uh, side beat, yeah. yeah. And that's not saying, oh, saying must. That was your opportunity to grab. Battery right there. Find myself getting grabbed. Don't oh. touch me. Get back on the ground. Still living at 124. And this should do it. Back throw. So long as he picks up this edge guard. No. Uh oh. Not a good. Oh my god. Okay. Almost scared me for a second. 
Okay, Tornado's still not killing. You really have to be holding up if you're going to be uh, killed by those unless you're all the way at the top already. Yeah, and it looks like at this point, Dragonzord knows that he's going to guard his... Oh, no. He's guard his down special, try to reflect it, and yeah. like he's trying to bait that out because there's no reason why he would have kept throwing 100 of those in the world. Yeah. Like, he was really trying to bait that out. Now, to punish it with what? That, I'm not sure. Maybe yeah. he could jump high enough, possibly sneak in a backer, maybe a forwarder, but probably backer. Yeah, I mean, back are obviously the stronger of the two moves between them. Yeah. So I'm wondering if we're going to see a character switch here. I mean, not able to find that one stock with the pit, whereas Dragonzord really had control basically the entire game. He had, you know, a couple of pretty decent moments, had a couple of combos, but aside from that, really didn't have a modicum of control. Yeah, Three, you know, two, one, like I talked about, go. playing a character like Pit, there's no walk in a park. You know, you know exactly what you're getting into right when you pick the character up. You thought the character was cool, you played casually, and then you're like, hey, what's competitive Smash about? Then you started playing him, and then you realize, I can't kill with, the, with this guy. What am I going to do? Sure, I can get some very early grab kills, or grab confirms, excuse me. Sure, I'm pretty quick on my feet. Like, I love the fact that he can trot in and out the way he does, and he still keeps a lot of his same options out of his uh, dash animation. But the name of the game is getting stocks gone. Pit. So good in doubles for racking up a lot of damage, but he's not the killer in there. Pit is the perfect example of you can't have a perfectly honest top two. No. No matter what. No, absolutely not. I think we've think I think we've all come to the consensus that the most honest character is Pit. Too bad he can't do it. Thanks, for Sarai. So, hey, I worked on this character. I'm gonna go ahead and make him honest. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, you know, another game comes out and Pit is top tier. Yeah, true. I mean, well, then there was Meta Knight and Brawl, too. But... That's true. That being said, um, Bayonetta, Sheik, those aren't side characters. No, can't be. Maybe maybe we just don't know when they are. Oh, God. Okay. We got ourselves a pretty small gap in between both these two players, about a 3% differential, and he's really looking for this hard knuckle. Unfortunately, all he's getting are back here. Now, they are keeping j Dog off stage. And one of the most unfortunate things about Pit is that he has no hitbox in that recovery. So if he just jump out there and throw out a hitbox, he's in a heaping amount of trouble. And yeah, that's the important thing is you either have to use your side B to recover or you have to be very smart about how you use that up B or else a character like Mega Man who has a projectile spike, you know, that's difficult. That's difficult to get around. Like you said, this game's running really even, and you know, you'd expect it to up until the kill percents, but we know that Mega Man has more kill options than Pit. Yeah, now his kill options don't quite open up until later on, and that's and that's why the match feels like, you know, they're kind of just going blow for blow right now, because Pit's lacking kill options, while mean, meanwhile, Mega Man's don't really open up until like, you know, 100 plus percent. Yeah. And he's kind of just chipping away at them during the beginning of the match. And you know, a hundred can be a stretch given some characters. I mean, if you're playing like a Falcon or a Ganondorf, sure, you can kill it like a hundred, but like, yeah. you're playing Pit, you're looking more at like the 140, 150 range. Oh, for sure. But you said a back air here, if he gets him off stage, can most certainly kill. Back throw, not quite gonna do it. Oh, looking for that back air, but ends up getting uh, Z catching one of his items as well. God, I think we may very well see a timeout. We could possibly see when both of these two guys right now are really in no rush to try anything punishable. Gets right up underneath them. Oh, my God. Oh, no, he's good. He's good. Yeah, no, he's pit. He's pit. But I do really like the idea. Oh, my. Wait, was throw? that a ledge cancel? That might have been a ledge cancel right into a forward throw. And as you know, man, pit, bayonetta, characters like Captain Falcon amongst some of the strongest forward throws in the game. Mm -hmm. It's uh, rather impressive. So now sitting at 183, this time it's Dragonzord who's struggling to find the kill, and that was rather interesting. Yeah, it just ends up trading right with the side special that time. Double dash attack. Okay, we got melee combos in here. So he's really liking the use of the side B. I don't know about it so much. Oh my god, look at the footwork here. It is a different J Dog. Now, this is. <laughs> you give him the lead, and look how good he starts playing. Oh Wait, wow. We're, we're punishing it that time. Back throw, gonna do Just. It. I think, I think ironically, if j Dog had hit him for 5% less, he would have lived that because no rage. Oh, yeah. It's also, you know, low-key, pretty good DI. Okay. All right. Lemons is kind of poking away right now with this lead. j Dog not looking to ease up on it anymore. Oh, Ooh. my God. That could have been a footstool opportunity. Then again, he would have footstooled him into rush. Yeah, true. You never know, though. I mean... 
Sometimes Pit's still a little bit of an unknown, and uh, this is just starting to look like a Mega Man boss is what it is. Yeah. Okay, good stuff there. Gets the forward air that time. Uh-oh. Ooh. Slightly uncharged for Smash. Meanwhile, getting off of that top platform as quickly as possible. Can we get the punish on the recovery? Wow. Using that roller arm to get right in there. Without that leaf shield up, he's definitely going to land it. And I think if he destales it, he may be able to find a kill. But not if Dragonzord has anything to say about it. Yeah, closing this gap out here. Both of these two players right now on life support. Ooh. And I know I don't know why I'm freaking out about it. The roller arm will deflect that. Oh yeah. But uh, it still still just makes it you know tighten up a bit. Okay, he doesn't have to worry about the fancy footwork anymore because the game is dead even. As even as you can literally get it. Back air? Wait, oh light God. toss. Oh yeah, don't even try to whip a grab. Not on the ledge there. Back throw? Good stuff. Wow, does it? Two really long and two really close games between these two. Well, second one was very close. The first one was, you know, yeah. it was hard because you're pit. But it was the download, yeah. Yeah, but 